am going to be giving a shout out to um, Prime Tutorials. So I just wanted to make sure you guys subscribe to him and leave his channel link in this description below. And we need to get on starting to the video. So first of all, as you saw in the title, today we are going to be um, doing a cartoon profile picture on paint.net. So first of all, what you need to do is go on image and click on canvas size. Resize, that, resize it to 500 for 500 pixels for the width, 500 pixels for the height. So you have this. Now, you want to open a picture of you. I'm just using this man as a picture. Since I, I see right here, I'm going to be using this guy. So as you see, I have this guy. So now what you want to do for this guy is just click on Control A, or you could just right click, right click. But actually, no, you just Control A. C and D, and then you can X out of that. Don't save. Okay, now what you want to do for this is Control V, and it said it will ask you that if it's too big, but I just say keep canvas size. And now I just gonna, it's just gonna edit the picture and make it smaller. I just wanna make it smaller. So yeah. And then, so yeah. Now, once you got your man here, um, uh, let me make it a little bit bigger. Okay. So once you got your man here, you can just Control D and it'll deselect. So now, what you want to do for this is Control. I mean, click on New Layer. Make sure it's on New Layer. And then you want to go to the little line slash curve. And you want to trace around. So yeah. And make sure the width of it is at 4. And then you just resize it around. And yeah. So you can keep on doing that until you're done. So yeah. Um, I'll be back once I am done. So I am done with this. And it only took me uh, a little while. Not a lot. But now as you see it's all traced around. Make sure you trace his ears. Like that and his hair. And now what you want to do is uncheck the background, and you should only have this. So now what you want to do for this is go onto the um, magic wand and to fill it in so you can have your own. Um, just click on the area, and so this is his hair I clicked on, and then you want to go to the paint bucket and then click on the color you want. So I'll be doing black, and you're going to do that for the face too. This is the skin color I, I personally use for every single one of these. Um, and then click that, and then you want to um, click. So this is his ear, and paint bucket. Click on his ear, and just fill it in. And um, it does not take that long. And this is the neck. And so now, since I have the neck here, now I'm going to be changing this. So I'm going to try to make it as the same... Um, uh, well, um, let me do something very quick. So, as you see right here, right? Make sure you don't have any gaps. That was my mistake. So, um, let me get the line curve and do that over here. Make sure it is black. And then, I think it is done. So, now as you see right here. So, I'm going to go back to the wand and then click on the tie. And go on to a sort of pinkish color, but I'll be using red. And now I'll go to the paint bucket. I'll, I'll, I'll try to make it look like Super the Clark Kent Superman. So um, now this part, this was white, but I kind of messed up on that. Same thing. But I can just go back and fix that. You'll, you'll find out. And then make sure it is black. And then now you go back to the magic wand tool and you should have that selected, which is gonna be white. So you have a pin bucket, it's white. And now over here, click on those and it's gonna be white. White and so yeah. So now you go oh, not this part. You wanna click on this. And make sure, since it's sort of a sort of black color, I'm gonna make it black. Actually, no, I was, I, I, I remember that I said I was gonna be blue because that's gonna be the Clark Kent Superman. 
And now magic wand, and then you click on that book it and uh, see uh, be starting to look like a little cartoon person and just click on that and we are done with this part so now what you do with this is just control d so you can deselect and now what you want to do um i'm gonna be making a sort of very uh, uh light blue so so you can have this is optional but you can still do it if you want so you first want to go onto the recolor over here and then Make sure the size is at 20, if I find 20, and then you see the color you have chosen. You can make it red or whatever you want to do it. You can make it any color of these, but I'll be doing this one. And do not worry ab about making a mess. Because you, you just create, create a new layer, and then you have that. And if it, wait, what? Wait a minute. Okay. So let me choose, okay, this one, and then the color blue, and yeah, okay. So now what you want to do, sorry, I didn't select the color blue, and then just want to highlight around. And at first, you might think that it will look bad, but once you're done with it, it will look pretty good. So, um, you want to finish it off. Make sure you did not take it off. So, let's see, um, kind of looks bad, but at the end, the results are going to be very, very, very good. Well, in my opinion, they are, but if you're just doing this for the first time, it will not come out that good as you think it might, or maybe it will. So now once you're done with this, all you can do is go onto Effects, Blurs, Gaussian Blur, and make sure it is on 20. I'm making it on 20. You can do any, but I'm just doing 20 for the video. First, it'll look pretty bad, but you want to drag the layer 3 behind this. You know, you have this sort of glow. And then, if you don't want the effect like that, you can just, um, let me switch your back. But you can do effects, blurs, Gaussian blur. You can make it darker. Or, I mean, more visible. For this, I'm just going to do 15 because it did not look that good. But 15, drag it down. It should do look like this, and it looks very, very, very good well done so now what you want to do um you click on file save as and then make sure it is a png and save it and it'll ask you for this it say okay make sure to, to flatten it do not hit cancel cancel and you're done and i say i'm gonna go back to my documents over here desktop documents downloads it should be over here it's right here it looks pretty nice pretty nice so yeah um, this is just an example, and this is a picture, I'm going to be deleting mine because I kind of don't like mine. Well, I do like mine, but I'm just going to be doing it differently. Um, so, yeah. Um, you don't have to do an image, you can, you can do, um, you can do it, but you can just, um, take a picture of yourself. You just take a picture of yourself, do it that way. Downloads, uh, okay, like this one, this is how I did mine. Um, but I'm still trying to do it a little bit better, and then, yeah. So, anyways, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you slash more like that, don't forget to subscribe to your page, and also, don't forget to comment section below for any other things you want me to do, any other videos you want me to do, and anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, once again, don't forget to subscribe to your page, and I'll see you ninjas in the next video. Bye! Everything changes.